Now we're going to set up the valve controller for the Yolink. Right now I just want to get it rolling, so I'm going to loosely install it right here. Battery, sorry, it's got batteries in it already. And then on this side, we've got the power. On this side, we've got the communication. Note that this is indexed. There's a pokey oak on there. And you're going to have to slide this on and tighten it. There we are. The next step is to install the app, but I also need the app for the Yolink Hub. So I'm going to start hooking this up as well. So far, I've downloaded the app. I've scanned the three of these sensors, the hub, and the controller. And now it's saying to push this button once and watch the valve actuate. So here we go. It's obviously geared down quite a bit, so it's moving pretty slow. Okay, I'll push the button one more time. Now it's returning. So that's great. And now this light went from solid red to solid green. From at least this manual, that's the last step for that item. Now moving on to the hub. Conveniently, I have a comm box here. So I have the ethernet patch cable hooked up to a router inside of there, or another access point. And then here's the hub with a flashing power solid internet color and green of uh, green and blue sorry we're powered up here so now I'll check the app and see if I'm green and then for these leak sensors you're just gonna flip them over push the on button wait till it turns green and now it's connected to the hub so I'm gonna put two near my hot water heater because that's where there's a ton of uh, plumbing that runs through and then one over by the water main because there's also the highest volume of plumbing there. I've only got three sensors. This is what I got to work with for now. Here's the hub again, content and lit up, and I'll try to take a screenshot and uh, add it to, to something on my page showing what the app looks like. 